it's a lot easier to find fatwood in the winter time when you get in amongst these larger more mature pines you can see where a bunch of limbs and trees have fallen down here's a likely specimen right here we pull this out smack it against the tree we ought to be able to see if there's any fat wood in this hold on And sure enough, there's some good fat wood and some more right in here. We'll take these home and whittle them up and see, try to expose the fat wood better. All right, here's our two pieces. And I can tell by the way this one is shaped and just what I see from where I broke it off right there, that this is the one that's gonna have the concentrated fat wood in it. Although this might have some. Let's go ahead and expose what's under all that rotted wood. keep the wind from blowing away. Let's try that before the wind blows it away. Good stuff. The wind's trying to blow it out. Alright, I'm going to 
I'll scrape up a few piles on the uh, fire table and we'll end with that. All right, here's what we ended up with. Some good looking stuff on the interior, isn't it? And when it completely dries out, it'll be even more reactive. Let's look at the other piece. <laughs> good stuff. Let's scrape up a few piles and finish this off with uh, six ignitions. And usually I would go on top of the board, but the way the wind is blowing, I'm going to have to go down on the metal table. It'll blow it up against the board. Let's try it. gonna be able to do it are we not with that wind like that let's compact it on down and just go ahead and end it right here all right all this wind is not gonna let me do it so I just put all four piles together right here we can end it on this right here but uh, if you're having trouble finding fatwood like I did for years and come to find out I've been stepping over it and it's been all around me in the winter time especially when all of the underbrush is died back and you can sort of scan across the floor of the forest find where some older pine trees are at and investigate any log or any branch that's severely rotted away or partially under the ground and of course the snags that are sticking up out of old stumps those are always going to be fat wood it's a lot easier to find than what you may think Let's go ahead and light this up. Alright y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.